evidence? What evidence? <laughs> hey, Gotham Rush, how are you doing? <laughs> Andy, how are you doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. And you as well, Goth Rush. Yeah, uh, yes, I did avoid your trap. <laughs> and thank you for those 100 bits, Andy. Really appreciate that. Really means a lot. Um, I'm doing great as well. Well, no, that is a bit too much. Uh, my teeth are hurting again, unfortunately, which is why I have another dentist appointment tomorrow morning. But it is survivable, let's put it that way. <laughs> At least when you have some pain close. Um yeah, today is only going to be a short stream. Um, we're just going to quickly prepare some dinner together. Um, we're going to try to do two more or two new things in the air fryer. No, three things actually. Um, we have some broccoli, some cauliflower and some salmon. Um, they should all be very easily be prepared uh, in the air fryer, I hope. Um, at least as, uh, according to all the recipes I've read. Um, so, yeah, I'd say let's get started right away. Um, the first thing we need to do is marinate the salmon, or not marinate, but uh, put some spices on and some uh, mustard and stuff like that. And then that can sit while we, no, actually that's not true. We're not starting with the salmon. We're starting with the broccoli because that needs the longest time in the air fryer around 15 minutes. Hey, Ritiska, how are you doing? How is your day going? Hump day, hope everything is well. Um, ah, let me get that broccoli open. This should be a quite, quite a healthy meal, I would say. I mean, we're just talking about vegetables and salmon. Come on, open up, there we go. All right, we're just gonna try to cut it down into some smaller pieces and cut them down to even smaller afterwards. And obviously I'm not gonna use the entire broccoli since this is only for me. I'm gonna take like four or five blossoms, something like that, to start it off. Um, yeah, just cut them a little bit smaller even. So, how was your day, everyone? Hope you had a nice day. It's been, it hasn't been that long since we saw each other. Um, but yeah, at least I hope you had a nice Wednesday. There we go, let's remove that part. That size, and threes. And the cauliflower as well, but first we're gonna put the broccoli into the air fryer. Or simply put some olive oil on to keep them, to be, have them lovely and coated. Some simple salt and pepper, nothing more. And I'm also gonna put some garlic powder on top of it, on top of them just for the taste, right? Um, yeah, about the mic situation, um, in case it cuts out again today, uh, be assured I've ordered a new mic already. It should arrive on Friday, so we should have it ready for uh, Weekend Dinner Club on Friday and Saturday, so we can give it a test run. And if it works fine, I need more oil. Um, I'm gonna be keeping that, otherwise I'll return it. That's the lovely coating of olive oil on there. There we go. Let's throw that in here. And start that off at 200 degrees for seven minutes. Now, while that is in there, we're gonna continue with the cauliflower. Basically doing the same thing, removing all the excess leaves first then cutting it down into smaller pieces, seasoning into the air fryer, 
and then we're gonna, gonna stop on the salmon. And once the salmon is done, um, no, actually we're gonna do the salmon in between. Uh, that's at least what I was planning to do in the hopes that everything will be ready around the same time. Um, so yeah, basically broccoli, take it out, put the salmon in, put the cauliflower in, and in the end, put the uh, broccoli in again to heat it up so that everything is around the same heat once it's finished. And we're just gonna take a few of those cauliflower flowers. Yeah, let's take that one as well. There we go. Right, those out of the way. I don't think that size is okay. There we go. Uh, there's no harm in seasoning it already. Hey, Tomcat, how are you doing? How is your Wednesday going? Once again, a nice dab of olive oil. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, as before. There we go, and... That's it. We'll stay here. All right, that's the veggies done. Now, the only thing missing is the salmon. Hey, Libby, how are you doing? How is your Wednesday going? I hope all is well. There is our piece of salmon, a nice salmon fillet. Um, let me get some paper and dry that off first of all. There we go. Nice. All right, some salmon, in, uh, some salmon. I'm gonna put some mustard on there. Oh, I need some new mustard. I haven't tried it, but it should work without a hitch, I would say. Um, I was planning on doing potatoes as one of the next, uh, on one of the next test kitchens. Um, but I was, I was uh, planning on doing those small roasted potatoes and <laughs> Andy, you're absolutely right. Uh, that is only temporary. Um, starting uh, hopefully over the weekend, I will put everything up on, let's see, that wall over there where you can see the green screen at the moment. Um, but for now, it has to suffice over there. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, I fully agree with you. It is uh, quite the departure. <laughs> yes, of course, we have Buddy in the background, right beside his uh, pooping friend. Um, yeah, but uh, of course he's there. Today also he decided to stay close by so uh, he can stay on camera. But since that is his decision in the end, I can't promise that he will stay the entire time, obviously. Yeah, all we're basically doing is coating the salmon with some uh, mustard. There we go. That's all that's needed. Why do we do that? Because A, these, uh, the mustard gives it a nice little mustardy crust thing, uh, crust. And also, it helps us to uh, attach the spices better. Only spices needed. We're gonna add some lovely black pepper. Hey, Rachel, how are you doing? How is your Wednesday going? Hopefully all is well. 
Yes, Stitch. <laughs> of course. I bought that shirt a couple of, uh, well, two weeks ago. And uh, unfortunately, I can't wear it while using the green screen uh, because it gets keyed out. But in the kitchen, at least, I can. <laughs> yeah, I loved it as well. It's so cute, him looking at the stars. <laughs> Me too, Libby. Absolutely. I've just been thinking about that because I've read that they're planning a um, real life Lilo and Stitch. At least that's what I've heard. I really, really hope I've heard that wrong. I hope that it was just a fan trailer I saw. Uh, because otherwise, considering the latest uh, real life movies, I'm a bit scared of what they might do with it. <laughs> it's real? Oh no. Oh no. Why would they? Oh crap. I I'm probably going to give it a chance, but um, yeah, this I, I have the same feeling, Libby, honestly. They have made if they have made not bad ones at least, but um, yeah, the uh, drawn ones are definitely a thousand times better. All right, the broccoli should be half finished in a few seconds, and then we can put the salmon in. Once the salmon is finished, we're going to take it out, put it into some uh, aluminum foil to rest um, while we finish the cauliflower and finish off the broccoli in the end. Summer 2024. Oh, crap. I really, really hope that's, uh, that it's going to be at least okay. I don't expect it to be good, but if it can be okay, then that is already a huge step. In the US, you have a brand of mustard called Ingelhofer, which has a German-looking font in its logo and a classical German-looking gnome person. Nah, and I'm not easily offended, um, <laughs> especially when, when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, but the one thing I can tell you, it's pretty surely not typically German, because I don't think I've heard that, uh, um, that brand ever before. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the broccoli after a couple of minutes. Nice. Already getting quite nice, as you can see up here. Um, so we're going to take them out now, put them into a little bowl over here. And, wait, where is my, there we go. Oh, perfect, thank you, Rachel. I'm gonna have a look. I, like I said, I saw the trailer and they didn't show too much of him. So I'm a little bit scared of, of how he might look, but um, I'll definitely check it out. All right, so like I said, we're gonna take the broccoli out for now. Then we're gonna throw the salmon in for what was it? Um, I think six minutes and then another six to seven minutes. But we're going to start off with six. He's cuter than, cuter than you thought. Okay, interesting. Yeah, like I, like I said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, it at least. But um, yeah, my, I don't have the highest hopes, let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, let's get the salmon into the air fryer now. Just don't want to have mustard all over my hands. So, there we go. Into a little, oh, look at that. And in we go. Again, I'm gonna start off with 180 degrees at around seven, oh, let's do six minutes to start off. And then we can have a look uh, of what it looks like. Yeah, time to clean up because that is already all the preparations. Oh, no, I forgot something very important. We need to spray the salmon with some olive oil. I just bought one of those spray cans for oil, especially for that. I haven't tried it yet. Oh yeah, that does work nice, Lee. All right, and in seven minutes at 180 degrees. There we go. All right. So, yeah, like I said, that is already all there that is to it. Um, now it's going to take around, yeah, I would say 20 minutes 
and fruit is ready to eat. Um, let me quickly get that into the dishwasher over here. All right. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all there is to it. I mean, basically the easiest dinner you can make. What did it take? Uh, 15 minutes? And now it's just waiting. But I mean, that's what we're looking for when we're uh, doing midweek dinners, right? We don't want to uh, be in the kitchen for two hours every night after work. Oh. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Rather be too fast than take ages. Ah, especially since I'm quite hungry, honestly. So what's your New Year's plans, everybody? What are you planning to do? Where are you going? Are you staying home, going to party, fireworks? What are your plans? Mine is gonna be pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna stay home, basically, uh, mostly because of Buddy, um, because he just hates the fireworks. So, um, yeah. Since I've had him, my New Year's Eves were at home, taking it easy, not doing anything special. <laughs> home with your parents. Oh, that's nice, Rutiska. Hopefully you'll have a lovely time. Going to the pub on December 30th, when it will be less busy and no charge to get in. Smart idea, Libby. That's one of the things as well. I, I think New Year's Eve has been so commercialized. It's so crazy. Yeah, true, Andy. True. There's only one holiday I still like to go to uh, or go out on, and that is St. Patrick's Day, because Irish pubs on St. Patrick's Day are just amazing. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you don't need a uh, holiday to go out and party, right? You can just do that anytime. <laughs> Let's see if you get lucky, Rachel. Ooh, 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 that was a close one. That was a very, very close one. But not quite. <laughs> All right, how long? Let's see. Five more minutes, and then we can have a look at the salmon. And probably going to give it another six to seven minutes. And then we should be ready to throw the veggies in again. How about we do a small round of hide and seek while we uh, wait for the food in the air fryer? What do you think about that? Uh, no, it actually does not, Libby. I was quite surprised. Um, as you can see over here, that's basically all there is to it. Um, I mean, a little bit bigger than my hand. Uh, so, yeah, quite nice. Um, obviously, there are different sizes. I've seen some that are like this big, like double the size. But um, this one, the only thing that I would say is get one that get, has goes high enough in temperature because for some recipes you would you you would be uh or you should have higher temperatures than 200 degrees celsius like 220 225 something like that yeah for one person this is absolutely perfect in size yeah definitely andy Rutiska, same goes here if you're ever in hamburg let me know we'll go out and party together Which recipes you need over 200 degrees for? For example, for the chicken fingers. They are supposed to be fried at 210, around that. Um, and also uh, some chicken thighs, I think, uh, need quite a high, um, quite high degrees. And also, one thing you can do in the air fryer, which we are gonna give a, a try out at some point, is pizza. You can do pizza in an air fryer, and you need it as high as possible for pizza. So, um, yeah, that's one. <laughs> yep. That is true, Gothrush, but like, like I said, pizza, you can cook that at 350 degrees Celsius and it's gonna be fine, so the higher the better. <laughs> no, no, but those recipes that I saw, um, they were explicitly for air frying. Yeah, uh, exactly, for that as well, Rotiska.
You don't need much meat, but, uh, so you wouldn't need the high temperature for that. But the pizza, yeah, then definitely for the pizza, absolutely. Um, if you want to use it, some, this, but that's the thing, right? I, I want to try unusual uh, air fryer recipes, um, stuff I have I didn't think about, and we're just in the beginning. Because for me, the air fryer was only used for french fries. I never thought about using it for anything else in the last four years. So, um, yeah, for me, this is already experimental. <laughs> All right, two more minutes. Um, and yeah, how about we do a short round of uh, hide and seek while we wait for the food to finish? Um, obviously, I'm not prepared for that, luckily. So let me quickly uh, add a move this one over here first of all. There we go. Yeah, A, it can be tidied away. B, the cleaning is extremely easy because you just take the drawer and put it in the, wash, in the dishwasher. And C, as I said, you can use it for so many more things than just one or two items, um, which I was really surprised about. Uh, so for me, it's going to be used a lot more in the future as well, instead of french fries every three weeks or so. All right, let me get that uh, display capture in there. Use the existing one. And nope, not let's take not let's take that one. There we go. Let's just put it in the background, please. Like there. And then we're gonna take me. Make me a bit smaller down here in the corner, like that. And then we can open up a hide and seek world. But before we do that. We are quickly going to have a look at the salmon. Oh, look at that. Already getting very nice and crispy. Hey, Alessa, how are you doing? Uh, chicken wings and potato wedges in there right now. But, honestly, Gothrush, that's what they're made for, right? So, uh, yeah. Yes, hide and seek. We're going to play a quick round of hide and seek while we wait for the food to finish. Yeah, it's about just the right shape for pizza for one person. Absolutely. Oh. All right, I'm going to turn the heat down even further to, let's say, 170 and give it another six minutes. And we're going to fire up Hide and Seek World. There we go. Let's go with the classic hide and seek for a private game, please. Let's copy the link. Yeah, absolutely. But for one person, <laughs> almost Uh <laughs> This is the one you want to spin out, I'm assuming. Um, obviously, we're going to do no move again. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit easy. Uh, <laughs> but that's an important information as well. So I understand why you pinned that. <laughs> yes, you did, Rutiska. Pinned by Rutiska, it says. So yes, you did pin something. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, but we're just going to play one round, everyone. Um, simply because we're not waiting... It doesn't take too long uh, for the food to be finished. So, um, yeah. Get in there if you want to join. Um, I'm going to get my chair to sit down. So that is a little bit more relaxed. Well, stay up there. All right. And as I told you, um, the. Let me quickly do that. There we go. Um, Oh, no worries, Andy, of course. Um, on Friday and Saturday, we're going to do a little bit bigger uh, weekend dinner club recipe. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, sous vide pulled pork 
with homemade barbecue sauce, homemade bacon kraut, which is basically sauerkraut with bacon, and homemade french fries. Um, and we're gonna start that on Friday. Um, then the sous vide is gonna run overnight. And on Saturday, we're gonna finish that off and have dinner. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Haven't had pulled pork in quite some time and seems like the per perfect opportunity for New Year's Eve. All right, are you guys ready? I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds and then we're gonna start the game. If anybody else wants to join, a link is pinned at the top of chat. Feel free to join in. Echo, stop. I'm gonna give you until I've given Buddy his medicine and then we're gonna start the game. Where is it? There we go. Um, and there. <laughs> Always medicine time for the little one. Well, there you go. There we go. All right, time to get going, everyone. In five. Four. Actually, we are only four people. Let's do two rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's do this. Uh, he loves any food and he can't get on this counter, luckily. It's too high for him, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, by the way, let me get that out of the way so you can't see where I'm hiding. That would be a little bit too easy for you otherwise, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so I'm always quite happy that I've taught him not to go on any tables or counters or anything like that. Um, because that can always go, or often go completely wrong otherwise. Oh, oh, this would be an evil one. Guys, should I be nice or should I be evil? Let me know, what do you think? I have a location I don't think any one of you will ever find. But I kind of feel like you take it using it. <laughs> he licks your food otherwise. Oh, okay. No, there, but he would never do that. He likes to sit and stare at me, but he doesn't like to uh, lick or steal food, luckily. Okay, I'm going to be evil. There we go. Let's see if you guys can figure out where I hit. The older trick is aren't interested in human food. Then let's see you get coconut and you will give K to give an option. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but he would also basically eat almost anything. I mean he likes dates and um and uh what's it called um cucumber and stuff like that. Alright, let's see if you guys can figure out where I am. Watching Ritiska. Let's see. Where could that be? It looks like an underground poker club. I have to kind of agree. But I can assure you, it's not. You didn't click, no, Ritiska! <laughs> I mean, they do have two poker tables and a blackjack table, so maybe that's an underground casino. Ah, uh, Tomcat and Andy all in the general area, nice. Well, 3,000 kilometers. <laughs> Let's see if you can figure out where this is, Ritiska. Come on, you can do this. I trust in you. That was all the way in Northern Canada. All the way up here in Cambridge Bay, everyone. <laughs> I told you it wasn't even one. Let's have a look at the salmon. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at the salmon, everyone. Doesn't that look amazing? All right, I think that is finished. So we're going to remove that onto our... Uh... Come on, get out of there. No, oh, the skin... Oh, crap, the skin is sticking. The skin seems to be sticking quite well. Apparently. That's not good. Okay, let me take it out like this. That gives me more options to take it off the 
thingy. Uh, okay, this is really annoying. Come on. Loosen yourself. Lose yourself. I mean, I told you already. A couple of years ago. Ah, oh, okay, now we go. There we go. All right, this one back in. Now we're gonna throw the cauliflower in there. Give it around nine minutes, no, no around six minutes on 200, no, it's just seven minutes on 200 degrees. And let me quickly put the salmon into some aluminum foil so it doesn't cool too quickly. It would be a pity. There we are. There we go. Lovely. And then we can continue. Next round, everyone. Here we go. Our next turn, as it's called here. Let's see. Wait. Where is this? Where? Um. <laughs> okay. I know you didn't click, Rutiska, but um, yeah, that's almost too easy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, there it is. Now, which is the, should be this one, right? So somewhere in there. Oh no, two kilometers away. Damn it, wrong side. <laughs> Well done, Andy. Well found. <laughs> I know, 10 seconds. I'm cat, the only one is still searching. Well, we're playing another round, so don't you worry, Richiska. Nice. Wait, did I get closest? No. Oh, no, that's, no, that's the turn results. Huh. Weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, obviously that was a non-existent click that auto, auto, got auto put to um, Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> Next turn. Now this is Andy's location. Where did you hide, my friend? Oh, that looks familiar. Why does that look familiar? Where did you go, my friend? Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limp on a small thing I saw there. Oh, where do I have to go for that? There. Is there a river? Yes, there is. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna go there. Nice! I saw a clue, and the clue actually helped me. I can't believe it. Yeah, there was a clue on the window pane of the restaurant, which was quite helpful. Without that, I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> All right, that was San Antonio, everyone. And how do we know that? We know that because it said spurs on the window of one of the uh, of the Mexican restaurant, um, which was, I think, over the Mexicana. Um, so yeah, that was the spurs, the San Antonio spurs. But why then what? Oh, uh, the Spurs is a football team from San Antonio. The San Antonio Spurs. Um, that's why that helped quite a bit, if you know that team. Um, let me see if I can even see the, the stadium. Should be somewhere quite visible, wouldn't it? San Antonio, ah, no, not really. Oh, also Texas flag. I, I did not see that. <laughs> I saw Spurs and decided to trust it. <laughs> All right, next turn. This is Tomcat's hiding spot. Where did you hide Tomcat? Oh, wow. Okay. 
I see language. I see language. Okay, what the hell? Oh, true, those are spurs as well. True, I did not even think about that. Okay, I'm assuming that this is somewhere in Germany. And I'm thinking Tomcat might be trolling us here. So I'm gonna go here. Let's see. No, not quite. Uh, where was that? That was in Frankfurt. Yeah, okay, makes sense. In Frankfurt at the Talboop bar. Very nice. That was the final turn in this round, I think. And it should be hiding time again. Are you ready? Let's hide, everybody. Let's see where I'm hiding now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go there. Let's see. How about there? What do we have some nice... No, that's too easy. That would be too easy, fam. I don't want to make it too easy to you for you guys. Oh yeah, I like that location. That looks good. There we go. That's where I'm gonna go. Let me hide and go there. And let's have a look at our cauliflower. Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? All right, we're gonna give it a, another five minutes at 200, at 190 degrees. No, four minutes, and then we're gonna throw the broccoli in there for another two minutes to uh, heat it up again. And then dinner is ready. You got a big plate already? Eh, come up. Come here. You did not hear that. Nothing happened. All is good. No worries. All right, we're gonna start out with watching Rutiska figuring out where I am. Let's see if she can. Where did I hide? Now the question is, what is Andy doing? Can he figure it out? And what about Gothrush? Oh no, Tomcat, not Gothrush. Chigavara is definitely a hint, yeah. Ooh, good one, Andy. Nice. Tomcat, unfortunately, not there. Rotiska is still looking around, trying to figure it out. It's a tough one, I would say. I could have put you on the road like 500 meters away, which would have been a lot easier because there were, was language right away. But I didn't want to make it too easy. All right, Andy, well done. Uh, this was South Korea, everyone. On Jeju. But how did... Wait, where's Andy? Wait, where is everybody? Why can't I see every anybody? You're in Japan. Oh, there. There you are. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, we were on Jeju, the small island south of uh, South Korea. It's because you, you don't have an icon, that's why you blended uh, in between Osaka and Nagoya there. All right, next round, or next turn. Here we go. This is Ritiska's hiding spot. Let's see, where did you hide Ritiska? Hmm. 
Okay. I think I'm gonna give it a try up here somewhere. Let's go there. Oh, 1700 kilometers. That's a lot. Wait, where is it? Where was this? Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I saw the country as well. The country made sense. But um, I did not expect that to be this close to New York. Holy hell. Uh, not bad at all. Nice location. Next turn, which would be, uh, I think, Envy's location. Let's find out where you hit. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, this... Oh, nice one, Tomcat. Uh, I'm a bit scared that this might be... Uh, Baity? I have no idea right now. Ah, okay. Okay, not that bad. Hold on, give me a moment. Okay, I can't find it that quickly. There we go. All right. Uh, and now we are only looking for um, Tomcats. It, it said Hospi uh, Hospital from uh, Paris. So that made it quite easy to figure out that it was Paris. All right, back in with the broccoli. Let's give it another two minutes. Um, that's a 200. But only two minutes. There we go. And here we go. Last turn. Tomcat's final location. <laughs> You're taking a shower. Oh, wow. How dare you, Tomcat. PMI. Too much information, my friend. Okay, let's see. Number one and number two. Okay. Considering everything I'm seeing. I'm going to give that city a try. Let's see. 260 kilometers. I can live with that. Now, where was that? Where did you put us this time? Czechia. Oh, okay. In Ve Veselinat Luchni. Luchnici. Yep. <laughs> we did. We absolutely did. Great minds think alike, I guess. Uh, not bad, everyone. Uh, this time... I was closest, then Ritiska, then Andy. And the result, everyone, is the winner is me. Then Ritiska in second place, Tomcat in third, and Andy in fourth. Well done, everyone. All right, but now it's time to eat dinner. Let me get everything out. And let me get back to full screen here, everybody. There we go. And I'm back. And let me remove that one. Ah, time to eat dinner. We've got a plate. We need some fork and knife. Here we go. I'm gonna unpack the salmon first, which should have definitely finished cooking through now with the re residual heat. Let me get the below there we go 
to that we add a few lovely roasted vegetables. Then it's also ready. Perfect. Bon appetit, mademoiselle. Or madame. Get those on top of the plate as well. And just like that, without much work, we have a pretty healthy half fried vegetable and salmon dinner. Yeah, exactly. The, the, I'm really, really positively surprised on, on how well crispy looking they are. So yeah, can't wait to give it a try. Um, let me get some lemon juice though. Onto the salmon. There we go. All right, let's give this a try. We're gonna start with seven. Ooh. Lovely and flaky. Check this out. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Salmon is perfectly tender and still, uh, still wet inside, so not dried out at all. And the veggies? Okay, they could use a, little, uh, a few more spices, but otherwise perfectly cooked through. A little bit crispy on the outside just as you want them. All right. That was Buddy's Test Kitchen between Christmas and New Year. Hope you saw some lovely recipes. If you wanna cook, um, cook this on your own, I'm gonna post the ingredients onto the Discord later. But now it is time to enjoy dinner. Thank you all for being here. Really appreciate that. Um, as I said, I'll be back on Friday. We're gonna start the pulled pork on Friday. And on Saturday, um, we will be finishing the pulled pork, do a song battle, and also play some geo chatter. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. I will see all of you on Friday. And again, thank you for being here, Andy, Libby, Gothrush, Rutiska, Tomcat. I really, really appreciate you being here. I'm not gonna raid out, we're only five people, so. Um, and I don't know if there's any cooking streamers live right now. Um, but yeah, I'll see all of you on Friday. Thank you so, so much for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I'll go to the dentist tomorrow. My teeth are really hurting. Um, have a great evening. See you soon, everyone.